Hey guys, it's Doug. If you are watching this video, you are very much likely an iOS developer, else welcome to the Coding Out Show. Now, have you ever wondered, can you do that the same thing, the if you are, else you are something? With the computer, with Swift, with iOS development, yeah, you can. That's what we call it if else statement. That's what we call it control flow in programming. It means that you have two flow of, of logic. You have if something is true, then something happens. Else, something else happens. So it means that if that thing is false, then you can skip around, you can continue the flow of your program differently. If you put this in the context of your program, you have so much more logic, so much more control, and that's what we will talk about in this video, if else statement. Let's jump into this demo. I have several things I want to share with you about if else statement. And also, I have my invitation for you to my new online iOS workshop for free. I will want to, you to teach you how to build an iOS app, how to program in Swift. Let's talk about that after this demo. Let's go into Xcode, learn about if else statement. All right, my friend, bust out Xcode now, create a new playground, and we'll call this if else statement. So I have three ideas here I want to share with you about control flow, if else statement in Swift. Very fast, very short, and you all know this very well. Now, number one is logical operator. How you can compare things in programming? Because if you want to have some logical um, flow in your program, then you have to compare things, right? So the first thing is let's create a variable called my name, okay? equals, I will have my name here, Dictran. you can do your name. Now, I want to count the number of characters from this string. My name, Dictran is a string, right? So let's number of characters, and we'll do my name dot characters. This will give us all the characters in the my name string. And then we do count. It will count for us how many characters from the string. So it is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the space here is eight, that's pretty good. Next up, I want to compare things. I want to check if the number of characters in my name is greater than 10, then it is a long name, okay? So let's is a long name equals to the number of characters greater than 10. So here we have false because it is eight eight greater than ten it is false right so you can literally do eight less than ten over here it's less than true or you can do number of elements of characters less than ten that is true because eight less than ten how about we do number of characters equals equals to ten it means that we want to check the equivalence if the number of characters is equal to 10. And it's false because number of characters is 8. It is not equal to 10, right? Now, the next thing is some operators, logical operator that we also have is you can do true and true is true. So this and operator is that you can combine the two logical uh, statements with each other. Now, guess what? What is true and false? True and false is false. And false and true is also false, right? How about false and false? That's pretty much very easy. It's false, right? These, you have to know a lot. The next thing you want, the last operator I want to introduce you to in this video, then we will talk about if else statement, is the or operator. This, how about we do true or false? That pretty much is true because it, with the computer concern, it just wants to know one case of the statement, true or false, right? And then how about we do false or false? That is still false. So with the or, or operator, you just need one statement. One sign is true, then you have the whole thing is true. Now why do I want to show you, uh, I want to share with you about um, logical operator? Because the if else statement needs an 
logical operator. I'm sorry, needs a logical statement that returns the value of a boolean, true or false. Because think about it, think about it. In the first sentence of this video, I says, if you are something, then you do something. Else, something else, right? So that if statement right there, it must have a boolean value, true or false. So in order to do this, let's say I want to do something very simple. If five is less than 10, then I will print out Swift is pretty damn smart. <laughs> okay. If five is less than 10, then we'll print out Swift is pretty damn smart. It says Swift is pretty damn smart because five is less than 10. So what happens is five less than 10 over here, five less than 10 is true, right? So if this thing is true, this statement is true, then it will execute whatever the code inside here. This curly braces, it denotes a chunk of code that you can write in. And now you can have several lines of code in here. Swifty something, Swiftify, Swift if I know that's a word. So it will execute Swift if I so. But it skip out this else statement because if we print Swift is so dumb. Okay. What I'm referring to is this programming language Swift, not someone named Swift. Okay. So Swift is so dumb. But it doesn't print that out because, uh, okay. Yeah, it says never get executed because five is less than 10. Okay, now if we do another one, let's um, let's say we have the number of characters over here, right? So we want to check if the number of characters is greater than 10. Then I will want to print out something like, oops, let's print out, print, you have a long name, right? Otherwise, we want to print the name is average. Okay, and let's see what it prints out. The number of characters right now is pre is eight, right? It is not greater than ten, so it's false. They will skip out this thing, and it prints out the name is average. And you see over here, if I change it over there, number of elements of characters is eleven. Okay. I think that we have to do change the number of characters into a var here so that we can change it over there. Then it says num you have a long name because 11 is greater than 10. Right? Does it make sense? All right. So the last example, let's have a more advanced example is how about we create a grocery list? And this is an array. I hope that you already know about array in Swift. What it does is basically a list of elements. And we denote it with the quote, uh, two brackets like this. Inside here are a list of things. We have something like broccoli. If you like broccoli, we have noodles. We have beef. I love beef. We have chicken. Yeah, chicken is awesome. <laughs> and then we have, uh, maybe that's it. Maybe spinach. Spinach is awesome too. Okay. Now, let's say we want to have a new item that is uh, uh, lettuce. Lettuce. I hope that's spelled it right. Okay. Lettuce. Now, we can add these things, this lettuce inside. We want to add this inside the grocery list using something like grocery dot append the new item. Right. But we want to check first. We want to make sure if the grocery list already contains the new item or not. So we can do something like grocery list dot contains, press enter, and then new item. So it means that we want to check if the grocery list contains the new item. And it says here false because all of these elements here, there's no elements called lectus, right? Now, because this contains method here, it is returned false, then we can put that in the conditional statement of the if clause, right? So let's do, if the grocery list contains the new item, then we want to print out, you already added the item to the list. 
otherwise now imagine that instead of doing the print statement here inside your shopping uh, shopping app you can put out maybe an alert view an alert panel says that hey you already add that to the list you don't have to do that again right then our statement here will do because it hasn't been added to the list then we'll do grocery list dot a pain new item okay new item and how about we want to print out let's print another thing cooler called item added your new shopping list it is something like string interpolation here inside here we'll go for grocery list and then let's see let's see it doesn't contain right folks then it should append us and then it prints out this thing let's quit it all right it says item added your new item is broccoli and then we have lectures over here and look what happened if i change lectures here into noodles and it says you already added the item to the list all right my friends that is how you use if else statement i hope that you enjoyed this episode we talk about logical operators the we talk about if else statement and more advanced feature of array I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Can you do me two favors? Number one, can you subscribe to this channel so that I can continue give you free videos, free trainings every single week about how to build iPhone apps. Number two, what I want to do for you is I am conducting a new online workshop for iOS development. I want to give you that access for free on how to build an iPhone app, how you can program in Swift, how you can create your first iPhone app from scratch. I will teach you that all in my new online iOS workshop and it is free for you so click the link on this video click the link in the description sign up for the new online workshop click that you will see the registration form you will just like sign up enter your name and email and you can sign up for the new online workshop i hope that you see you there in the workshop until then go out there every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world